Okay, what I got here is a 2001 F-150 King Ranch. It's got approximately 184,000 miles. Four-wheel drive, automatic. Um, everything works just like it should. Heated seat on the driver's side. Doesn't work. It just needs a new heater element. Uh, the outside's in very good condition. No major dings, dents. A couple little scratches here and there. Uh, there's no rust. Tires are in good shape. Uh, got a clean title. Sun's kind of messing with me a little bit. Uh, there's no rust along the door. Rocker panels, anything like that. Tires are in pretty good shape. So got quite a bit of tread left on them. Uh, toolbox will come with it. It came with it whenever I bought the truck. I just waxed it about a month ago. Um, it's been a really good truck. Just need to get the wife a new car. Um, not really any big dings or dents in the rear bumper. It's a pretty straight truck for its age. It does have the tailgate extension, which is nice because the bed's not very big, big to begin with, so it gives you a little added extra room. Uh, a couple little dings and scratches right there on the tailgate. Uh, got a couple more back there. Uh, a couple right there, just along the side. And it really wasn't that bad until I waxed it, and that wax got in there. And Kind of highlighted it. I don't know if you can see this with the sun or not, but just some small ones, you know, about the size of my finger, about like that. Uh, no rust or anything on the side of this passenger side. There is a that's about the biggest scratch on the truck, right there, probably about five inches long. Going back over the door, still no rust ranch has tinted windows sunroof all the bells and whistles front tires are in good shape ball joints all that doesn't make any creaks rattles anything um, I changed the oil keep up on all that stuff I'll take you inside now this is the driver's seat and that's the the rip I was telling you about, about a half inch to an inch long. Uh, seats are in pretty good shape. The driver one is a little more war than the rest, but not that bad at all. The carpet over here, just the floor mats, you know, pretty banged up from just wear and tear use. Um, door panels are in good shape. You know, the tent's not coming off. It's been done professionally. Steering wheel does have some wear use on it um, the middle console right there the paint has came off from when I had to replace the two bulbs in here whenever I was pulling this off the paint chipped off of it um, it's not that big of a deal to repaint it I just haven't got around to it yet got the sunroof that slides back everything works on it got your panels up there those work Tells you your temperature and direction, I believe. Um, got the center console. That's where I have my fire lights mounted. It's just two holes, which I can plug those back up. Uh, take you to the back. If I can get it unlocked. Back seats are in really good shape. They haven't been used that much. It does have the bucket seats with the big center console. It has a six-disc changer in it. Um, you know, the radio, AC, heat, everything works just like it should. There's the back seats, headliner, it's not ripped or sagging. Uh, got the King Ranch, those uh, floor mats are in good shape. It does have the rubber center floor mat just for added protection. You know, and got your back pieces there to keep more stuff in. Door panels in good shape take you around to the other side this is the back passenger door once again 
floor mats, good shape back here. Back seats, they're not ripped up or anything like that. Pretty dang good shape for its age. Uh, it does have a 12 volt car charger right there. Got a little spot, not for sure, maybe that'll probably come out if you oil it. Um, you got the back sliding glass, it's not power, but the rest, everything else in this truck is power. Uh, got two more cup holders there, more headliner, still in good shape. Store panel, it's in good shape too. All the doors shut and open really good. Take my chamois out of here. This door panel's in good shape, just like the rest of them. It does have a little bit of wear usage around the you know controls but carpet's not really stained up or anything like that it's in really good shape passenger driver or passenger front seat not all tore up or anything other side of the dash there's no cracks or anything like that the only thing that's on the dash is just for that paint has uh, chipped off whenever I was changing those light bulbs out it does have the bro or the brow tint on it on top. I'll go ahead and show you the remote start on it. If you can see that. Just hit this button, these ones up here, your unlocks and all that stuff. Hit it, and a couple seconds later it starts up. And I think it runs for like 15 minutes. Starts up. And you've got to put the key in the ignition before you can drive it. No ticks. Nothing like that. It doesn't leak any oil. I'm going to pop the hood for you. Regular old 5.4 Triton. Not really much to see. Just stock. Uh, everything's been maintained on it. Motorcraft parts. Change the oil on it. Every about every three to four thousand. I've been running some semi-synthetic in it, so the higher mileage stuff. Uh, battery. I'm not for sure how old it is, but I've never had a problem where it has been dead on me or I've had to jump it. Um, I think that's about it on it. Uh, I can go ahead and shut the truck back off with the keyless remote. And that's about it. If you have any more questions or anything like that, just give me a holler and I'll be happy to help you.